Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are in our little corner of Jurassic Park Island as always watching as our park grows and grows and grows and really I have to admit the terrestrial area is not growing quite as much anymore. I may have gotten a little bit distracted because our beautiful aquatic zone is just so enchanting. I just cannot tear myself away from the aquatic zone lately. I'm trying to remember to come up here and like manage to at least gather up the coins, which is going very well. We're at over a million coins again already. So that's very fantastic. I just hope that I don't get any more quests for a little while. That's like, oh, we need two more active volcanoes. We're seven million coins. Uh, uh. Why we installed more active volcanoes as quest pieces, I don't know, but it was a good money hole and I enjoy having more of the volcanic chain built. I think we'll get another sleeping volcano pretty soon to just kind of extend. We might swap out like where this guy is. Pebbles is already up at like 125% bonus and she pulls in so much freaking money like every two hours. It is just ridiculous. So that is really fun. But let's see, we're gonna go down the line. And let's check what's going out in the aquatic zone real quick because I have some surprises for you guys down there. As I mentioned, we're not really doing a lot in the ter terrestrial area because <laughs> we've, uh, we've, uh, you know, I enjoy this place. Don't get me wrong. It's just the water, the water, you guys. It's so beautiful under the ocean. So let's pop over there and check out what's going on because I do have a surprise to share with you. So we've gotten quite a bit done down here recently. Uh, been expanding some areas. Try is getting ready to evolve. I think we might evolve Try tonight. That might be something that we do. Same with Basil. Might evolve Basil tonight. I'm kind of hesitant because right now we win all of the aquatic tournaments that we enter. And I know when we level the, them up, they'll be stronger, yes, but they'll also be more expensive to use bucks on to restore. And I was using a lot of bucks to restore them for battle readiness so that we could save up DNA points for a certain special someone. And here they are. Look at him. Okay, so he's still an egg. We haven't, we haven't like clicked on him yet to hatch him out of the egg because I was trying really hard to wait till you guys got here. But we have our little bakelite. So our little like, oh, there we go. Ha ha, we're zoomed in. Perfect. We have our little bakelite in here. So I managed to get enough DNA points. I got 13 DNA points and spent 60 bucks to be able to purchase this little one. And they've been sitting in their little egg. And isn't it just so beautiful? I mean, look at this. We've got the coral and the ruins and the little cliffs and the little kelp. Ah. Oh. It just looks so cool. So you guys ready? You ready? You ready? Okay. Ta-da! New species! Bakelite's achieved buoyancy by filling the chambers with gas, similar to today's Nautilus. Ooh, that's really interesting. <gasps> Look at how cute he is! He's my little shell squid! Oh, I love him! Look at you, you little guy! Do you want some food? Here, have some food. Have some little bit of food. And... Boink. Whoa, look at him now. Oh man, that shell is just too wickedly cool. So he is definitely a gold. He's at 151 ferocity, 300 attack at level 5. Let's keep going. Let's see what he's like at level 10. And whoop. Oh no, I ran out of food. Jeez, he tore through a ton of the food really quickly as the golds tend to. But that's not bad. That's 272 attack at... And um, a good amount of hit points. That's not bad on hit points either. All right, let's see what missions we have real quick. Medium sculpture, two small fossils, small fossil, rock formation. I want to get some fossils down around this little guy then. So let's see how much the small fossils cost. Oh, okay. Oh, we can do this. All right, that's not bad. But I want to start decorating the area for this little one. Great job, let's get to work. The faster I get free, the faster we return to the aqua park. Oh, that's right, because she's kind of stuck in a crushed underwater submarine. I would be a lot more like anxious if I were her, but she is like, she needs to be on the payroll because she is the most dedicated and creative of all the employees that we've possibly had. And you know, 
I don't know. I feel like we need to sign some waivers. <laughs> we need some parental waivers signed. The trimmer nearly bounced us halfway across the ocean floor. Even with this crummy onboard map, I can't tell where we are. She's so optimistic. She's just smiling about this situation. I would be pretty freaked out. I love the ocean and I love our aquatic park, but the idea of being lost in a damaged submarine under, like, thousands and thousands and un countless pounds of water pressure... Ooh, just the idea, geez. Lost and found. We're really far away from the others. Do you know where we are? There must be some kind of recognizable landmark. Well, there's my shell squid. Place an abyss museum, place two marine turbines, and place a kelp bed. All right, we can work on that a little bit too. I'm gonna get the other small fossil out of the way. So there we go. I wish Kelly was here to see this. Oh man, that's some like bitter irony there. Well, Kelly's currently lost, sir, because you, like, suck at keeping track of your kid. You really do. All right. Hammond, I'm just telling you, it's not a good idea to make him angry. Just pay whatever the gene thief wants. This is a matter of principle. I don't expect you to understand, Dr. Malcolm. Oh, well, jeez, that's a low blow. But I'm not paying a dime. There's no telling him what the gene thief is capable of. Uh, what? Is, is it you? Is it you? The habit created could end up costing you more than it's worth. Are you, like, trying to fleece your boss? Is this a roundabout way of demanding a raise for security reasons? That's so weird. Taking care of business. Nice to see that you'll still listen to sound reasoning. We'll be the ones to collect profit from the park and placate the gene thief. Collect 11... That's a really odd amount of coins. Okay, I wonder, there must be some sort of weird code involved in how much coins we have to gather. Alright, what's this? The numbers don't make any sense. I was making progress on my analysis of the DNA sample, but now I've hit a stumbling block. Take my advice. Don't think of anything. Nothing. Nada. Play checkers or watch cat videos on the internet. Forget about work. I'm really questioning this guy lately. He's making me wiggle my eyebrows. That's what he's doing. Cat videos? Dr. Malcolm prescribes a healthy dose of nothing. I've been working hard, so I'll take the day off. You're in charge for brain freeze. Place five decorations. Well, all right. I do want to put some more kelp. Um, wait, we, oh, a little kelp bed. Okay. So we're going to put a kelp bed down over here for a little bakelite as a little decoration. And then what else did the, we need as decorations? Medium sculptures, rock formation, marine turbines, abyss museum. All right, so let's see, rock formation, rock formation. Where is the rock formation? These things are so expensive, but they are very beautiful. <gasps> I love the giant seashell. We might get a giant seashell in a little bit. Um, let's see, giant clam, rock formation, there we go. How big is it? It's about this big. It looks pretty cool. And I'll put it, so I'm gonna put it right here, right here, right here, right here. Put it right there. Thanks. That's all I get. Just like a quick thanks. Oh, cool. We just leveled up. Awesome. Level 42. <gasps> Look at the cool new things we unlocked. What did we unlock? I want to see it now. We unlocked the giant fossil. Oh, look at that guy. And look at the underwater cave. No way. The underwater cave looks awesome. Oh my gosh. We'll have to save up and get that one day. We could get it now, but we're not going to because I want to evolve some things pretty soon. All right, what's this? Place a pebble garden. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. So much stuff I gotta be putting down. All right, ruins, sea flowers. Ooh, the sea flowers, those are pretty. Ooh, there's so many things I could put down here. Purple seaweed. There's some more coral bushes. Where the heck's the pebble garden? Rock garden, pebble garden? Oh, there's some, I'm gonna get some more green seaweed put in here. If I can wiggle this in somewhere. Can I wiggle it in there? How about right here? No, I wanna move it like over here, I think. And yeah, there we go. There we go. And we'll, we'll zoom out in just a second. I just wanted to make the area around it look very nice because this is our newest little one. And he's not so little and he's really awesome. I'm gonna see if we can enter a battle or not. I don't know if uh, there's an aquatic battle available, but I wouldn't mind seeing how this guy... Look at my little shell squid. You are so worth all of that very hard work to get, my little friend. Oh, I don't know what it is about the aquatic zone, but I really could just like stay down here and watch all of them just swim around. 
be so cute for forever. But all right, let's back up a little bit. Come on, come on, there we go. All right, so I think the pebble, I wanna see where the freaking pebble garden is though. I may have passed it up. Coral ruins, medium sculptures, the giant seashells, which are so freaking cool. Medium fossil, oh, this is the pebble garden, okay. So we need to place a pebble garden somewhere. And actually, I think a pebble garden might go nice way over in this area. So this is where we're trying to kind of build our little like aquatic city. And to celebrate that aquatic city, let's open up a couple new condos. Ta -da! Underwater condo complexes, yay! And we're putting down like all of these statues. I'm probably gonna sell a couple of the statues in the future. They're not my favorite statues because they're like terrestrial animals, come on. We're all about the aquatic stuff down here. And we're still working on building the hotel, the Hammond Hotel, which has like 18 more hours to go. Good grief. I guess it would take a long time to build structures underwater, so I really shouldn't I really shouldn't be flippant about it. But yeah, let's see. Any other decorations we could put down real quick? Um, Abyss Museum. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. Another Abyss Museum over in the uh like the residential zone. All right, let's scooch these around a little bit so there's some room. There we go. Somebody can live right on the edge of the abyss. That's not terrifying. That's not terrifying at all. And there's the botanical garden. I kind of want to move this guy, medium sculpture, right there. I'm going to move the botanical garden kind of like right here. Another underwater condo. I might line those up kind of tight against each other. Now this is the little like eating restaurant. I'm actually going to put it right back here because it, it fits pretty perfectly. And then medium sculpture. We're going to have a lot of these for a little while. So I'm going to put that one there. And the vet office. Just a little bit too big. I'm going to leave it down here where the hotel is going to go. And that leaves us some room to kind of like add more things over here and make the little city. We probably should start, let's see. Abyss Museum. Abyss Museum. I wonder if I should fit. Well, we'll put the museum down over here for now. There we go. And I also installed some repair bays. Just because it seemed it seemed like a good thing to do. So let's put the marine turbines back here. We need two new ones. To rescue the, the poor child Kelly. Oh my gosh. She's a handful. She's a handful, that little one. And we're going to have to start expanding, but I'm going to hold off on that because I do think I want to evolve some of our critters. But I don't know. I don't know. I go back and forth on it. Oh, 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 oh almost. Almost. Ah, we still need to feed them a little bit more to be able to get them full size. All right. But yeah, I'm really happy. I like this. Oh, and that reminds me. There is a critter available right now. It's this guy. He's available for 24 hours only. This little swarm of what looked to be giant tuna to me. <laughs> and they're not giant tuna. So if you guys know anything about these little ones, tell me all about them down in comments because I learned so much about the prehistoric world through all of the amazing information that you really well-versed people give me when we start poking into it. So tell me more about what this guy's up to, what he does. I want to learn more about him. And we're going to try to catch him. I'm going to go ahead and rush some of the expeditions. Um, actually, let me check the tournaments first to see if we have a chance of entering a tournament right now. An aquatic tournament. I still lose every Jurassic tournament I enter right now, so I'm not even touching those with a 10-foot like, T-Rex at this rate. All right, we're going to zip over here. All right, and I'm not interested in these tournaments right now because I would enter the $60 tournament, but not the $20 tournament because I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, I'd have to spend six just to get try ready for the fight. And then the prize is only 20, so already, and then five. So like already we're making less than half the winnings. So the Bacalites are now our fifth strongest creature and it's only level nine, so it is going to pass up Basil in no time in strength. I'm really interested to see how that ends up. And the Mosasaurus is quickly, quickly going up the ranks. It'll be very interesting to see when the Mosasaurus outranks Try. So we might try evolving the Mosasaurus tonight too, if he's almost at that level. I think he's a little bit short on the food though. 
Are you a little short on the food? You are, because I ended up feeding all of that that crustacean goodness to the mo to the uh, bacalites. But we'll work on that. So we'll work on evolving the Mosasaurus and getting him fully evolved, because I think he'd be a really good fighter. And it would be nice if we could just do like uh, Derma and Basil for round one, and then maybe Try for round two, and our bacalite maybe, and then have either the bacalite or Try and the Mosasaurus for round three. So I'm trying to watch it because I do think think the higher up you evolve your creatures, the harder the battles become, and it eventually hits a point, like in our Jurassic Zone, where I just can't win. <laughs> but we'll see, I could be totally wrong, so we'll, we'll risk it and we'll see, because I do want to treat everybody here right. But alright, we're going to go ahead and let's check on the Glacier Zone just to get that out of the way for the night. And then we're going to rush our, our expeditions, and we're going to see if we can manage to get our hands. Dun, 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 dun. Hang in there, everybody up here. We'll eventually focus on this zone, but for now, I'm diving back into the dark depths of the ocean of Celtic, Celtic Abyss. There we go. Oh, I just, I love this place now. I really do. All right, so we're going to see if we can rush the expeditions. Whoops, that's the wrong, wrong one. Rush our little expeditions and get lucky enough to get those little guys. And I'm only going to spend so many bucks on this project. And if we're not lucky enough, at least you get coins and experience. So, alright, there's all five. We're rushing it. Okay, don't think about it, Siri. Don't think about all of the bucks you're pouring down the drain. Because it's a limited edition aquatic animal. And I love the limited edition aquatics. Okay, got, got one buck back. Oh, it's so painful to do it this way. Because I hoard my bucks. But what's it good for if you're not going to spend it on things like getting new creatures? Dang it! Okay, we're almost to my limit. I was going to keep it like in the 200 range. Last time, this is how I got the Mosasaurus though. Mm -mm, this is getting painful. But I think it's, it's just easier than watching him zip off. Oh, come on! Alright, this is going to be close to the last one we have. Alright, last one. This will be our last run. And if nothing happens here, we're just going to have to say that we don't get these guys for a while. As painful as it is. Oh. Okay, one more. This is for real the last one this time, though. Because I'll lose all my bucks for not being able to enter. Man, okay. So we didn't get him, you guys. <laughs> Which sucks. It sucks, but that's okay. I'm just going to let the, the tuna fish go. The Bacalite and the Mosasaurus, honestly, I was far more interested in. So I'm glad to have them. And at least now I can feed the Mosasaurus a little bit more. Do I want to spend 50 bucks on 30,000 food? I don't think that would even let us finish evolving him tonight. So no, no, I don't. However, I think we're going to go ahead, you guys, and try evolving try. And we're going to see how that goes. Or should we do basil? Um, let's go ahead and do try because we've got quite a bit of money right now. And just kind of get it over with. <gasps> yes, that was wonderful. I'm prepared to spend bucks if we need to finish evolving him because this is a lot of money. 50,000 to go. Oh, come on. Now I'm going to use up even more bucks. But that's okay. I'm real happy to have the Bacalites. And it'll be great to have Try enter into his final form, to be honest. He's been doing great so far, but it'll be fantastic just to give him that little extra push. There. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Man, this is expensive. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I wonder what he'll look like. He looks really cool now. I hope he looks real cool when he's in his final form. Alright, there's that one. I, hopefully we'll have enough money. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Yes. Good job, DNA. DNA luck. You're doing well enough? I, I'll take that, even though, even though we messed up on that last one. Alright, let's keep going. We're doing fine. Tries one, earned all of these hundreds of bucks, so he deserves to have some of them spent on him. Okay, now that's kind of painful, um, but it's worth two bucks just to redo it. Oh, come on. Alright, there's one. 
There's the other. Boom! The name Tracronum means three-tipped three -tipped femur. Okay. Okay, three-tipped femur. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. From when I was in nursing. I, I remember those bones. I see where the name came from now. That's funny. All right, so Tri is now evolving. We could speed it up. I kind of want to see what he would look like now. What the heck? We're throwing our bucks to the wind anyway. <gasps> it's a little baby Tri. He looks pretty much the same, actually. Oop, 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 oop. Camera, were you going to do it? Oh, the camera was just teasing us, you guys. Ah, oh, really? Nope, it won't let us see him. Not today, it says. Not today. No baby Tri. Eh, eh, <laughs> please? Please? Nope. No up close baby try today, but there he is, baby try level thirty one. There you go, little guy. There you go. Shouldn't we evolve Basil right now too? I don't know if we have enough bucks actually, or enough coins actually, because it can be very expensive to do evolutions. So try is ready to go into his final form and reach that level pretty soon. So we'll keep an eye on him. The like everybody else is doing pretty good. I really need a lot of crustaceans, but we're already maxed out on getting the crustacean feed brought in, so I'll just have to keep an eye on that. But we'll work on getting the Mosasaurus up so that we can evolve him and get him up to max level pretty soon. And then we should be pretty good for keeping consistent in the tournaments, so hopefully that'll work out. But alright guys, look at this guy. I think the Bakle is like one of my favorite new additions to the entire park. I think he's one of my all-time favorite creatures just because he looks so unique and I love squids and I love snails and he's a snail squid. And good, 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 good. Very happy about all this. Also, I would love to see this guy get evolved just because I think he looks awesome and he's huge. He's so huge. But this is going great and I will see you guys next time. Hopefully, Try will be much bigger and we'll be able to evolve Basil and we'll be able to get the Mosasaurus leveled up as well and we'll continue to expand our aquatic city and have more money so that we can we can add even more into this really amazing underwater little utopia we're trying to build so i'll see you guys next time bye bye